Hey guys, this is Cassie, and this is Tuesday's segment of Milso TV. Um, this week's topic is about um, super moto girlfriends, which I had no idea what that meant when I found out that was the topic. I was like, uh, what? And after watching the videos, I got it. It is super extra motivational, like gun ho woo girlfriends. And yeah, um, I'm not one of those really, actually, at all. Um, sorry, this girl from a sorority, I'm rushing, is texting me because, yeah, I'll answer her later. But anyways, um, supermoto girlfriends are like the girls who have the navy shirts, navy, or what am I saying? I'm saying navy because I'm a navy girlfriend. Uh, the shirts, the te the hats, the bracelets, the sweatshirts, the sweatpants, the car stickers, the stickers in general, like, their whole tumblers, like, I love blah, 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 Milso, yay, 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 uh, good for you. I really don't care. Um, I have nothing against supermoto girlfriends. I'm not a supermoto girlfriend, honestly. Um, I am honestly, like, I'm guilty of saying my sailor. Don't get me wrong, and I'll talk about that. But my way of, like, being ridiculous with him is I wear his clothes when I'm being lazy, um, which is today, because I don't have school on Tuesdays, so I lay in bed and watch movies and catch up on homework and read and stuff, so my laying in bed in Jacob's clothing, his sweatshirt, which is not navy at all, it's just a sweatshirt, his pajama pants, um, they don't say navy anywhere either. Um, not super gun home moto navy whoop de doo. It's been my life forever. I mean my dad's in the navy, I don't even have a navy car sticker. So it's just not my style. Only thing navy I have is this, which I found in my car, and it's his blousing strap, which keeps his pants up around his boot. And I turned it into a bracelet because I didn't have anything like to keep on me all the time that was his. So I turned this into a bracelet because I thought it was cute, and he can't get it back anyway because he's on deployment. So it was in my car, I took it, there we go. Um, the only other thing I have is, I was actually just changing wallets. So, I like animal prints. I also carry around this super adorable little picture of him, which I can get out of here, I promise. Um, isn't he cute? It's so adorable. His mommy sent this to me because his mommy likes me. And I carry it with me everywhere. Because this is my baby. This is my sailor. And since I called him my sailor, I will talk to you next about the use of my. Um, honestly, I don't care if you call him my airman, my sailor, my soldier, blah, blah, blah. I'm guilty. I do it all the time. Um, especially with people who don't know him, I'll either say my boyfriend or my sailor because they don't know his name until I start talking to him, then I'll introduce his name and then I'll just call him Jake or Jakey or Jacob. So, um, and even on Facebook I'll, or Tumblr, I'll put like, I heart my sailor and blah, blah, blah. But, um, there's a point where it's like too much, I think. Their job doesn't define them. So, with you supermoto girlfriends out there, supporting, great. It is great to be supportive. I am 100% supportive of my boyfriend's job choice. I am 100% supportive of the military, and I'm 100% supportive of the Navy. Um, but if you call him my airman, my sailor, my soldier, blah, 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 more than you call him my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my fiancé, my husband, or their name, um, you might want to look at that. Because then you're starting to, I feel like then you're starting to associate them more with their job than with who they are. And would you like that? Honestly. Um, I'm a babysitter. I take care of children as a job. And if Jacob called me my babysitter, I'd be weirded out. So he doesn't get that to his face. He just gets it when I'm talking like generically about him. And I'll call him my soldier, to, my sailor to his face every once in a while. whoop de do. Um... But don't let, don't turn his job into what you define him as, because that's not who he is. He is his own person, and he is government property, 
but he's yours as well. Like, Jacob is mine. The government might have him on a leash and control his life, but his heart's mine, so they're gonna, they can't have that part. So he is mine, but he's my boyfriend, he's my sailor, he's my love, he's my Jakey, he's my, I don't even know what else I call him. I call him whatever word mom is out of my mouth. And it'll be anywhere from Jacob to, like, I don't even know. I can't even think of the most ridiculous thing I called him, so that's pretty much that with the my thing. Um, also, things that annoy me um, about super gun-ho girlfriend, fiancé, wives, husbands, all that. Ranch bashing, civilian bashing, and ranks. Um, one, it's fine. I mean, I joke around with, when I'm hanging out with all the sailors and all the Navy guys, they pick on other branches, but we're all Navy. Um, but then some guy says like, oh, Army's better than Navy on Facebook, and you better believe, I was like, you don't know who you're going to offend with that, blah, blah, blah. Like, they do just the same amount of shit, blah, blah, blah. Like, and he's like, well, Navy's not on the front lines. I was like, well... Let's talk about that when you've been in the Navy and have a bomb blow up in front of you, which happened to my dad. So, shut up. Um, so, I mean, one's not more dangerous than the other. Every deployment has its dangers. Every, it doesn't matter where you are, what you do. And honestly, I think that no branch of the military could function without the other. So, just because your boyfriend's in the Air Force, don't be like, oh, well, Air Force is the only one with airplanes, because Navy has airplanes too. Yeah, my dad was a fighter pilot, Navy. Um, if you're a Marine's girlfriend, um, don't be like, well, my boyfriend's in the Marine, so he's stronger than your sailor, your coasty, because um, they got muscle too. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but they all do their equal share. And, you know... They might not do the same things. Some jobs might end up being more dangerous than others, but there's jobs in every branch that are dangerous, and there's jobs in every branch that contributes to each other. There is joint operation commands, and you better believe you're not hearing shit talking on those. Yeah. So, don't ban branch bash just because your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever is in one branch. Uh, you don't have that right. Sorry. Um, don't civilian bash either. Not cool. Um, my phone's vibrating again. No, no, it's not. So, civilian bashing, civ I love my civilian friends. My civilian friends are the greatest. I'm not friends with anybody in real life that is a Melso. Honestly, I talk to Melsos on Tumblr. That is it. My friends are all civilian girlfriends and stuff. So, but you know, I've been a civilian girlfriend too. And I like the Navy. Like, I can't escape the Navy for some reason. They follow me everywhere. But there's things that I've gone through being a civilian girlfriend that I'm never going to have to face again because now I'm in Bilso. So civilian relationships can be just as tough. There are things that they go through that we don't go through. There's things that we go through that they don't go through. So don't bash them. Let them whine when their boyfriend goes away for two weeks because that's what they're used to. You can only... Like, I don't know how to word this. You can only relate to the worst that you've been through. So, yeah, my boyfriend's gone for six months, and my best friend likes this guy that she only gets to see once a month. Well, she whines about it, and I whine about Jacob being gone, but we don't judge each other for it. I don't care. So, don't civilian bash. It's offensive. Um, and ranks really don't matter. Novel idea. They're in the Navy, military, whatever. You're not. Um, don't pull ranks. It's not fun. And it hasn't happened to me yet. But if anybody pulled ranks, I'll be, I would be like, um, bitch, please. My dad is up for a captain. So if you really want to pull ranks with the enlisted guys, like, let's talk now. So it's not cool. I don't throw around the fact that my dad's a captain or whatever. He's only a commander yet. But I also don't throw around the fact that my my Jacob's a E whatever he is. I don't even know. E3. But you don't pull it. 
you know, it's not cool. Most people don't care, as far as I've known. Um, but it doesn't make you better. You're still an SO. It's, you're still going through the same shit, so don't think that your boyfriend husband's rank defines you. Um, overall, just, you know, do what makes you happy, though. Um, do whatever you want. Don't offend people. Like, keep it not offensive, because offending people isn't nice. Treat others the way you want to be treated. From Bambi, yeah, I pulled that. Um, but, you know, in the end, do what makes you happy. If you want to be super gun homoto, then by all means, go ahead. It's great that you support him. And if that's how you show your support, then go ahead. Everybody's different. So that's all I really have to say about it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to follow our Tumblr, which is milsotv.tumblr.com. Um, email us at tumblrmilsos.gmail.com at gmail.com and follow me at rude-and-reckless.tumblr.com. All the URLs will be below. And we better get new followers on Milso TV. Okay? I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.